As you can see, we have implemented jumping as Mega Halfman jumps from platform to platform. However, clearly, we are still in the process of implementing collision detection. Here we have Mega Halfman's kick animation, which involves one frame that is lacking transparency for reasons that I will not speak of. As you have probably noticed, anything outside of the map itself is not being refreshed properly on the frame, and we will correct this at a future time. But, we do have gravity, kind of, except we need to make it so you cannot jump while falling. In Mega Halfman, you are a robot which has had its torso separated from the legs. The main premise is to combine your legs and torso back together by completing puzzles with each side of your body, using different controls and having the ability to change which half of the body you are currently controlling. As of right now, we are using a substitute sprite for our animations and still need to implement these main features upon our current foundation. Now, I am going to show some of the sound effects we have added to the game. The beeping sound represents a single footstep, and the laser sound is what happens when the player presses Q. Now, I'm going to discuss some of the main functions of a map editor that I have created for our game. As you can see here, you can adjust the map size in tiles as well as the tile size in pixels. I'm just going to draw some tiles here for an example. There are two tile types, empty and ground, as of right now. We plan on implementing many other textures to be used as different tile types. Now I'm placing some entities, which are the torso spawn, leg spawn, torso door, leg door, which are part of the main features of our game. There are also spikes and grapples. Since the torso does not have legs, it will need to have some form of method for moving around. So you just hook onto the grapple tiles, and those are the ones that you can move around with. Now I'm going to demonstrate the fact that you can indeed save and load these maps. All of the basic functionality is done for the tile editor and this is how we created our map that I was showing you before in our game. Also I apologize for the lagginess of this video, it was done with a third party program that isn't as good as I thought it would be. These things are dynamically adjustable, you can adjust the size whenever you want. I'm going to change it back to 32 by 32. And yeah, that is pretty much the tile editor. And here we have some concept art for our game. This is what we are working towards achieving by the end of this quarter. In case anyone was wondering, we programmed our game in C++ using SFML. Thanks for watching.